Hey guys, this is Fire Rally, and I am going to do some pranking in this episode. I have been putting this off. I just love pranking. And I have been at a lack of one, and so... Um, I thought of one for this specific person, which you will most likely have seen before this, in a, a type of intro I made or something like that. I spent like forever getting wool over there. I spent like, f I don't know, at least eight Minecraft days. Maybe even an hour or two there. But I am, um, I am ready to prank. I have all this wool set up and I am ready to do teleports back and forth to get materials. But I will not show you my prank shelter because that's a secret. I'll cut out at those parts. So, yes. I am pranking Fox. I, I tried to, like, not prank her first, but the opportunity just came with that FedEx comment she made. And so I just couldn't resist it at that point. I mean, if you say something like that, I have to have, like, a reason. I just, like, have to do it. So, basically, as I start this thing... The general idea of this prank is to make her house like wrapped up like it's a gift. Because she's been getting a lot of gifts and so it's going to be like, we have a new gift, we are going to send it somewhere, I don't know. I, I'll work on the sign later but that's the general idea is that uh, her house is being gifted somewhere. Now, I've collected over 2,000 blocks for this, so I expect this prank to be big and elaborate. There, I, I grabbed your torch. Keep going. Do, do, do. I'm going to cut up this video a lot. I would just love to um, fast forward it, but I can't do that. Also, notice, cactus kills zombies. I put it there. I helped her set that up because the, zomb the zombies were annoying everybody. She said so a few times in her videos that they annoyed her. So I was like, you want to take them out? Because we can do this using magic. Oh no, that sign, the mailbox will be in the way. Oh well. <laughs> that lever is still in the road from when she put it there. <laughs> Got the flower. Move the flower. Place the wool. Continue on. So yeah, I'll probably mush this up into lots of videos. But here comes the wrapping paper. I mean, this is gonna take forever. I really wish I had editing software that would fast forward, but I can't. I well, I could, but I don't have the software for it. Sad face. But yeah, she's get, been getting a lot of presents. So this is one huge present. Over two thousand blocks of wool. Oh my gosh! I was like, <gasps> it's Fox. That's like the worst nightmare of prankers is when that is the hugest fear, biggest fear of the pranking people. What if they log on? Oh, I messed up. It needs to be two blocks over. Like uh, some wool plan out to like wrap up the sides too. Wow, this is like really tall. I'm, but yeah, I'm gonna like wrap up the sides too. No, give me back my wool. Should eat. Wow, I'm almost up there already. Awesome. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put in some packing peanuts. Like, I'll use what the leftover stuff as packing peanuts and like scatter it all over her house and activate OCD instincts. But yeah, my worst fear is like Fox logging on like sometime during this. 
that is the most riskiest, that is the riskiest part of ranking in general. When the person logs on. It actually happened to Arcus when he was pranking MC Gamer once. At least I think he was Arcus. Or Nebris. It was Nebris. Right. Cheaty Nebris. Nebris was pranking MC and he logged on. And it was pretty funny. So then they went to prank someone else and it didn't really work out. Keep going, keep going. Make the gift box. Make it real. I hope no one comes by this way. I know this is this backup completed. Yes, back up my wool attack. Also, Fox is uh starting a really cool project soon that will get the whole server together for like this medieval town thing. And I'm gonna be a part of it. I'm I'm not the best builder ever, but I'm making the attempt. And that's what counts. Hopefully my building will improve from that. I mean, the only good thing I built in Minecraft so far was my starship. If you remember that from Creeperland 1.0, before I had some really good edit uh, recording software, and my videos had like this black board draft of that. Also, Fox has been taking to saying I don't have a brain, because you know how in Minecraft if you look in someone's head, or your own head for that matter, there's nothing there. I was doing like this funky night dance like I was like doing this like the sun was setting and I wanted the zombies to come to make sure that the cactus thing worked so I was like doing this and so she just looked at me and she was like he's gone insane and so she walked over in my head and then she was like yep there's no brain in here and she just continued to do it you know I thought it was kind of funny I thought it was really funny I might have like way overestimated the wool I would need I might have calculated the volume instead of the lateral area of, of Fox's house. Which would be really cool. <laughs> I had not thought of how do I get back up here. I guess I can parkour my way up to the roof. Let's see. I need to go... Let's see block I think I need to go up two more I'll just leave that there and grab it later actually no having these odd numbers annoys me <gasps> dang it I didn't even get it back all right can I do this can I do this <gasps> I missed and I'm stuck with the baby zombie <laughs> dang it hey 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 oh he was tracking the villager dang it come on you wing dinger Let's do this. Let's finish this. Uh, yeah. Who are too smart for your own good, little boy? Alright. The second floor and parkour. Alright, I do have cobble on me. I will have to take this down. But this is for the good that is pranking. Always have extra building materials with you. I just jumped off the bed. <sighs> I'm gonna die before this is over, aren't I? Come on. Work with the fire alley guy. And then, here we go. Welcome back to the top of Fox's Houseland. Where did that wall block go? Must have gone to Bed Bath and Beyond. Come on. Imagine what it would sound like if I sped this up. It would sound like that. I could feel it. I am out of stuff, so I will have to um, get some more materials and I'll be back because I can't show you where I stash them because it's a secret. I, ha I always have a secret pranking shelter. It's just how I work. It's just a little fun thing I do, so anyway. Okay, guys, I have walked all the way back here, and I also decided that I'm going to say I filled it up with my head because she was joking around about that. 
So I'm gonna be like, we are the FedEx people. We have transported Fire Alley's brain in here, and we wrapped it up in a nice gift box from the sender. I don't know who the sender is. Maybe it's the zombies. Or something like that. Yeah, parkour. I don't like parkour. No, don't do that. Here, I'll do it this way. Yeah, backpedal. I was gonna comment about what about the power of backpedaling, but I haven't uploaded that video yet, so you'll have to wait and figure out why backpedaling is overpowered. Uh, I want to see this. Yes, I can F5 this. A little blur. Keep going. I can do this F5. Well, my this is a tall prank. It's like 17 blocks tall. Yes, I memorized how tall this build would be. I went out and I started punching the blocks, counting them out just like anyone who counts out blocks does. And so I could calculate what was going on there. Uh, it's so hard to press F5 while doing this. Alright, we are beginning to fill it in. Excellent. This would look so cool if I could fast forward record it, but I have to chop it up into little pieces and I don't like that. I hate chopping up my videos. I would much rather just release them in their full beauty. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get somebody to edit it for me and be like, So boy, can you speed up this video? And have this long increments at this place, this place and this place. If only I could actually, if only YouTube's thing could speed up, it can only be, uh, do slow-mo. Like, in my UHC thing, that's all using the YouTube's editor, which is less than stellar. I'll take it over no editor at all, but there are much better editing things out there. If you want to get uh, editing software, make sure it has timeline. If it doesn't have timeline editing, you're in trouble, because timeline editing lets you put multiple videos on at the same time. Lets you have ubiquitous videos. And so that, or audio, it lets you mix and match it and put it in where you want, how you want it, how long you want it, and it typically has fade effects built in as well. And so if it's... If it's called storyboard, you can only fit in a video, and then the other video will attach itself right to the end of it, and you can't really mess around with it, and you have one song that repeats itself the whole time, or plays once and never again. That's the YouTube editor. I'd much rather be able to control my videos, which if you look at my minigame videos, I put in music randomly in the middle. I can't do that with YouTube storyboard editor, or any storyboard editor for that matter. So I usually, so when I'm looking for editing software, I will always make that part of the criteria. We've almost encased it, guys. We're almost there. I might have to make the ribbon on top of the chimney, though, so nobody can see it. Come on. We are so close, we'll stick to the house and with each other. Let there be cohesion and adhesion and all that good stuff. When you get close to the end, it's, that's when you like your form gets sloppy. And it's almost night again. I might have to throw up torches here. Or I'll just leave it dark and let Fox have to fight them. Because that's always fun. Wait, I'm supposed to be doing it this way. See, I'm getting excited, and my form is falling apart. You must have good form. Eh, it's just three blocks, I'll just do it this way. No! Curse you, planty the potted plant! 
kudos to anyone who gets that reference. I imagine it'd be everybody, because that show is popular. Ah, I did it again! Come on. And... Awesome! Completely encased. Alright, now I get to do the ribbon. Um, let's see, how do I want this to go? I want this to be a loop going around on both sides. You might want to have like a red knot there or something like that. Something like that. Like I said, I'm not the best builder, so don't get mad at me if it's not as pretty as you would do. Because I am not you, and I am not the best builder. I don't know if I'd classify myself as the worst builder, because I made the starship, but, you know, probably most everyone who watches my videos can build stuff better than me, so let's not have a contest. Okay, now I want it to start looping back, so I will put these on the edges here, and then go back. Yeah, yeah, start, start going back, and I think I will do it a lot steeper than the way in there. Every time there's a yellow message, I'm like, is it Fox? Am I doomed? Because that is the pranker's worst fear. Although at this point, the prank could be considered done, so I shouldn't be too worried. I mean, all I have to do is, like, rip out scaffolding and stuff. And that... Yeah, that, that look, I think that looks great. Do you guys think that looks good? I, th I think it looks good. Alright, now I will start... ...doing the things going on the sides. I don't know what you call them. I call them the things that go on the sides. No block left behind, Agency. That is something I made up when you are so OCD that you have to pick up every block you drop. I am part of that. Especially if it's a clay block, because clay blocks are so hard to get. And so I'm like, you are not allowed to get out, Mr. Clay Block. Break, break, break. Now back up. Awesome, awesome gift box on the way. I will put lighting on this side. So that way, less mobs will show up and, I, and it looks more fancy. Okay, it's just Kyle. Okay. Hello. I am not here. I don't even know what he typed in there. For a second I thought he's typed in something like Winkinek. Ah, no, my fingers are hurting. Stop hurting fingers. And these are the fingers that are pushing lost and not not other fingers. Alright, I hope somebody doesn't come over and knock me off like a skeleton. That would be extremely aggravating. Alright, awesome. I'm down to 21 of these, though, so I might have to leave it like this and not do the sides. Because if it's 17 blocks up, I won't be able to go across with the blue wall. So... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do the, the rest of that. Should've got more blue wool! Alright, so... Ugh, how do I get down from here? I don't... Oh, water. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, water! You stupid zombies, you're supposed to go to the other side. Somebody fix that. I don't have dirt, so I can't. 
Okay, mailbox here, so the entrance should be about here. Aha! I know this base well. <laughs> Fill it back in, just in case. Now I'll head up to the roof, peel off my scaffolding, leave a sign and package peanuts, and um, try and make it look like I filled in more than I actually did on the inside of this. This is probably the biggest prank I have done so far. And I'm happy with how it turned out for the most part. I hope she like doesn't just automatically start tiring it down and looks and goes outside to see how it actually looks. Alright, so this is part of the make it look worse than it actually is. But uh Wait, no. Three blocks high. So she cannot see the sky. Yes, there we go. Oh no. I don't have signal touch. I have to go out there manually. Dang it. <laughs> I have to go break through my own blocks to make it look worse. Meow, meow, meow. Hopefully she spawns in the house and not outside of it. Dang it, I forgot I did that side. You know what, I'll just... You will... Dang it, your slabs! <coughs> Ugh, sorry. Excuse me. I couldn't stop the sneeze. The sneeze was too powerful. Oh, I can't place it over her bed, but it looks like it's up against the window, right? I mean, I think it does. So I think that one's good. So put some packaging peanuts. Yeah, packaging peanuts. For the win. Alright, this door. I must go. Does she not have a... Yeah, she does, okay. I was like, I thought she had a gate here. Dang it, there's the sugar cane in the way. I'll take that sugar cane. I have to make this look really elaborate. Hey, look, my cobble. No! I cannot get around on that side. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Get through here. Right, deal with it, spider. You're not getting in here. Alright, and that one is right, again, uh, right up against there, so that's good too. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, more packaging peanuts. Oh, there's a fire there. I can't put any there. Packaging peanuts away. Packaging peanuts here, too. I wonder if there's like any secret things here that she's hiding from the public of the PWMS people. I know I do. I told you about it. Which doesn't make its existence a secret, but the whereabouts are still a secret. I can't put it in front of them because it'll kill the cactus thing. Let's see, we have Craig, the guy, the guy who's not a pun or whatever. Alliteration. And then the rest of them are just alliteration for their job. Claudia. I think I've submitted a few names, but I don't even remember them. There's also a story to how Fox got the name for her dog, Purple Terror. That was also from me. I was being silly. I had said many sane names like James, but she chose Purple Terror, which used to be Purple Python Terror. Hey! You get out of here, Mr. Enderman. You don't belong here. Don't spoil the secrets either. Ooh, I'm liking this prank. I actually do. I might actually have enough wool to cover the entire inside of her house. Dang it, you have carpets there. You just barely put them there, too. Make it seem worse than it is. 
voila. So this should make... I mean, I'm hoping that I am able to make it seem a lot worse. Like I filled up the volume of this space. Maybe she'll have something to fight. She doesn't come in from like outside. Cause that would suck. Okay, so if she's gonna be coming out, I'll just leave the signs over here. Um, I think I will just derp around with the signs unless Fox logs on. I'm trying to figure out what to leave. And then I will read it to you guys, and then I will um, do the second half of my episode, I guess. Depending on how long this prank... Alright, guys, I have figured out the signs. It actually only took me one try this time. Greetings from Firax. We can't have a copyright infringement. We have come to package this large package. Ooh, that sounds weird. Package this package. I might have to redo that. We have come to package this large package as a gift for Soul Fox 8 left by Nobleman. So it's kind of kind of like a mix up, like FedEx got confused. Maybe I should... Maybe I should just, like, fill up whatever I can with this leftover wool. Or maybe I should save it for future pranks. But yeah. Um... I don't know what else to say from package. Home? Business? I don't know. But I think the signs are good for now. Um, I'll probably have to look over my videos, and, um, I'll of course have to edit them after this, and I'll do it as soon as I can, and try and get this video out. We'll see how long it is. It might be a full episode, and usually how my episodes work, they My episodes usually work that the prank videos are a full episode, not a half an episode, or whatever. No, curse you, come back. No. You bad cobble. Now, do what you're told. Yes, good cobble. See, he knows the deal. Anyway, um, that was the FedEx prank on Soul Fox. So I will see you guys in my next video. Watch her reaction video if she makes one, I assume she will. Um, I'll continue to play some random woolly blocks where I can, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Do the self-promotion deal.